See, I have here function power 1. We are trying to calculate the x power y as well as y power x. Both we are trying to calculate it. Now we are passing 4 and 3 as input. Then we are asking here what is the type of the return. Whatever it is returning, the type we are trying to see is a apple. Why? Because how many values we are returning here? Two values x power y and y power x. That's what two values came into the picture. And if we want to unpack it, we know now how to unpack it and we are able to see the result. Right? If you want two or more values anywhere, then use that one in this, in this shape. Automatically, system will return not the values directly, it will return tuple. Once you have the tuple in your hand, you have to unpack it to get the values. Okay, this is a tuple object, this is a tuple object, whatever we are getting, that we are unpacking and we are getting the values. Any questions? Any questions, folks? If you are keeping your brackets or if you are not keeping the brackets, also it's okay. Okay. Right. With this, we completed the second lesson in the uh, functions. First lesson is system defined functions. Second lesson is user defined functions. Both we completed. Now, let us move on to the next lesson. That is. Can you please explain? Uh huh. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Can you please explain me like uh, uh, the use case of the tuple because I um, I did not hear that like I did not I went out for a few minutes so I no. said that. So you tell me how many values you are trying to return here? Yes. How many values you are trying to return? Two values, two values right? Two values yeah. trying to return. The two values function cannot return uh, as is. So it is returning only one thing that is a tuple. It is returning tuple object it is returning. Because any function return only one. That one is it is returning the tuple it is returning. Inside the tuple now we have here two values. That we are trying to do here, unpack we are doing here. That we are trying to do the unpack we are doing. Once you do the unpack, A is equal to 64 we got, B is equal to 81 we got. If you want to change this values, let us say 2 and 3. Now we can see A is equal to something, 8. Then 3 power 2, that is 9, we are seeing it. Uh, can you please, uh, yeah, can you please type there a underscore tuple one, tuple two? A underscore tuple two. What will you get? Nothing will get, I think. Oh, sorry, this one you meant to say? Okay. Yes, eight yeah. and nine. Eight and nine, we are going to get it. Perfect, yeah. That eight okay. and nine, we are unpacking it. Unpacking, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, if you want, this is better to keep a okay. underscore tuple here also. So, so, um, uh, where do you have assigned that to tuple? Sorry? We didn't, we nowhere specified it. The by default behavior is whenever it has to return more than uh, r equal to two values, system will make that as a tuple. Uh -huh. Nowhere is specified return tuple like that. More yeah. than, more than r equal to two values it has to return, it will keep inside the tuple. That is the beh default behavior of the function. Yeah. Right. Right. Thank you. Now let us move on to the default and flexible arguments. Mm 